G'day, Steve here with Working Masterclass. Do you know, one of the questions I get most of all is, I'm starting a workshop, what machines do I need? Well look, if I had the choice of one machine and one machine only, it would be a bandsaw. So what I've decided to do is put together some videos about what a bandsaw can actually do. And in front of me here, I have 14 different joints that you can cut on a bandsaw. And I'm sure there's more, but 14 was what I came up with. And I'm going to take you through them joint by joint. And I've split them up into five different categories. They're the really basic ones, and then the halved joints, then the bridle joints, the mitered joints, and the specialty joints. Is that five? I think it is, yes. So very basic ones, then the half joint, bridal joint, mitre joint, and specialty joints. There you go. So what I'll do, first of all, is start with the easiest of them all. And put these behind me. Absolute easiest of them all is the humble butt joint. And this is how to make a butt joint. The first and definitely the easiest of all of them is just a simple butt joint. Now to do that, make sure that your mitre box is at 90 degrees and also that your table is set up at 90 degrees to the blade. Then you just get a piece of timber For the purpose of this exercise, I haven't got the dust extractor connected because it makes too much noise. That cuts at 90 degrees and that then will butt up. And when that's glued together, that gives you a butt joint. And there it is, finished. The next easiest one, for my taste anyway, is the lap joint. And that is much the same as the butt joint, except we've cut a rebate in here. And this is how to make a lap joint. One of the simplest joints to do on the bandsaw is the lap joint. It's where you've got a corner block, we've done the butt joint, this is a lap joint, and we just cut a recess into the corner here where this can be housed. To do that, get your block, make sure it's nice and square there. With a pencil, draw a line down on the inside with a square. Mark that across, then mark how deep you want to go. And that's basically it. You need a box, the table in the horizontal, and the blade at 90 degrees to the table. Turn it on, cut down to that line. Like so. Attach your fence. And line it up so the blade will cut down this line we drew here. I'm going to use a feather board and that will keep the job up against the fence and give me a nice square cut and good shoulder there. and that will give me a nice lap joint. If I'm a little bit long here on the corner, it doesn't matter, I can cut it off or plane it off later on. And there it is, finished. So there's two, I've got a butt joint and a lap joint. The next category of joints I'd like to move into is the half joint or the half lap joint. 